Almost done, Joe. <laughs> the fake telegram, a first for us. Here's the text, Joe. To Mr. Peabody, penitentiary director, order to release the Daltons immediately. Stop. Signed, state governor. <laughs> there, all we need to do is connect to telegraph wires. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! No more tunnels! Now we escape the modern way! Let's go! must go on to his head. I don't know, Mr. Peabody. Perhaps that's not entirely impossible. Of course, of course. Search the entire penitentiary. <laughs> well, an electrical mousetrap. Well, they forgot the cheese. It should be here normally. I was right. Look, that looks like a comma. And there, an E! People leave all sorts of things around. Huh? Hmm? Joe, this is not a tunnel. This is the telegraph network. Those letters and this comma are left over from a message. Don't worry, Avril. I'll bring your brothers back into the real world. Dalton's escaped. Stop. Begin search. Stop. Look out! This is the first time we've ever been chased by ourselves! Well, where is that piece of cheese? Hello, Daltons! It's me, Miss Betty! I'm coming to fetch you! yoo -hoo. Huh? Even try crossing over. Traffic is really bad. That's it. Yeah! <laughs> Anything is possible in here. So, you having a little bit of a problem with the telegraph network? Now, uh, did he take out an extension on the guarantee package? Giant spaghetti salad bowl! That piece of cheese must be in there somewhere! <laughs> Uh-oh, now this is very irregular. The only thing to do is switch it off, that's it. But if they switch it off, I'll never see my brothers again! No moves, or I'll fire my question mark straight at you. Listen here, Mr. Peabody sent the governor a telegram saying you've escaped. We know all about that message. When the governor's answer comes back, we'll climb on top of it, and it will take us straight to Mr. Peabody's office. What? Go back to the penitentiary? 
Never! I prefer to stay here! Joe, I don't think we have a choice. No, I won't! Think about it, Joe. There are no banks to hold up in here. Okay, I'm okay with following her, but I'm the boss. Here's the plan. We'll climb on top of the governor's answer, and it will take us to Mr. Peabody's office. Stop! Don't switch it off! Oh, here it comes! Get ready! Hey, don't turn that off! The circuit isn't connected. Electrons are disintegrating. Don't cut it off! <laughs> We're saved! I did that! <laughs> okay. We're going out through the main door now. The good old way. <laughs> Molecular recombine and takes a few minutes, Joe. I see. Let's give him a big hand, don't you think? This is the machine that will serve to print our penitentiary's very first newspaper. Oh. Written by the inmates themselves. Mm -hmm. There will be articles about culture, literature, so on. And Mitch Ferret is our chief reporter. I always wanted to be a journalist. Uh. How long have you been doing it? Uh. Are you well paid? Talk to Mr. Peabody. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Time to get delivered elsewhere. <laughs> now that escape attempt's gonna make ink run for sure. <laughs> Get the Daily Yardbird, read all about it. Front page news, escape <laughs> failure, the Daltons get the blues. The Daltons failed again? That's hardly new. You're just jealous, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been struck by lightning. Sorry. Look, oh, it's like he didn't even see me. The lightning flashes gave me a superpower. I'm invisible. <laughs> well, this will be fun. Listen to this. With his nasty character and stubborn ignorance, Joe makes the Dalton's escape plans fail each and every time. Uh, what rubbish! You can't believe what you read in the papers! I beg to differ, no smoke without fire. If it's in the paper, then it must be the utter truthism. <laughs> yeah, sure. Always ready to believe anything, that one. That gives me an idea. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We write an article and we make Peabody think we're going to escape through the shower drain pipes. As soon as he sends his guards there to investigate, we waltz out through the main gates. <laughs> the perfect plan. Uh, Joe, how come we don't just escape through the shower pipes? Wouldn't that be simpler? Because, uh... I'm the boss! I'm the one who decides. You're the one who writes the article. But I'm not even a journalist, Joe. You're right. We need help from someone professional. Write an article about your future failed escape attempt? Why should I? Because this time it's going to work. We're going to, uh, get to China, right through the middle of the Earth. Hmm, an international scoop. That could make me famous. Okay, I'll do it. Tomorrow, the Daltons will escape via the showers all the way to China, passing through the center of the earth. The four escape experts have planned this in their cell, planning their new life in a new hemisphere. Okay, here's the copy. All you gotta do is take it to the printer, and it'll be on the first page. Perfect! Peabody is bound to believe it. Uh, there's one thing I don't quite get. If you announce your plan, you'll be stopped. Why do that? Not your problem. Go snoop around somewhere else. We have an article to print. <laughs> Hmm, they're keeping something from me. There! Get packed!
second, guys. We're moving on to phase two. Well, let's see today's news. We wait for him to sound the alarm and then we head out. <laughs> what? Hurry, we must do something. Wait for my signal. Oh, no. Huh? Whew. No reason for panicism. I read the wrong horoscope. I don't believe it. That ninny reads the back page first. This is what you read first. The Daltons escape, huh? But I thought... Hello! The Daltons are escaping through the showers! Here's our moment! <laughs> <laughs> well, the game of hide and seek with my new invisibility superpower, I'm sure you win every single time! We're free! We're <laughs> I knew those boys were up to something. Now for my super scoop! Huh? Those featherheads are shooting at us! Faster! <laughs> ah. ah! We lost the Indians. We can rest now. I've got a plan. Huh? We stay here for a while until they forget about us. Curse the dog! You can see me? You ruined my picture. Well, what do you know? Oh. It's our friend the ferret. Let's take him with us for a long while. Ah! Okay, you throws a nine piece. Where did you go? Oh, fool, you must have gone back to prison. Maybe we should just stay here. We've got everything we need. Water, fruit, sun... But absolutely nothing to read. How about today's paper with its fabulous scoop? Desert Dream ends for the Daltons. But how did you find us? Quite easy. We developed the photos in the camera that our fateful Rint and Dom brought back to the prison. Yeah, that stupid dog! Great, I did it! I have the superpower to make people happy! Ooh. Better this way. Too much information kills information. Incidentally, I hope that Pete and Emmett will be back soon after their search in the sewers. Good day, sir. Have you seen these dangerous convicts running around by chance? Our generous governor has decided to give you men a vacation. We're all going to take a luxury cruise together on a steam paddle ship. This will be our chance to learn new things and for some of you to cultivate yourselves. You are mistaking dreams for reality, <laughs> Miss Betty. <laughs> a cruise? <laughs> First port we call, we escape. <laughs> yeah, I love it when they hide things from me. <laughs> Found it! Goodbye, prison! Goodbye, prison! Oh. 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 Are you Captain Ahab? Unmarred! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Captain. Huh? Uh, strange. I don't see a single sail. Crows on vacation. Here. Your men are going to give me a hand here. Call it a training course. What? So Santa wants to make us work? Never! Is there a sail yourself, my friend? <laughs> Let me introduce Joe Dalton, who jumps at any chance for freedom. He won't be laughing for long, I can tell you. Hey, yo! I got the key! I'll bring it back and he'll give me a great big bone! <laughs> this here is the upper deck. Oh! Up there, the captain's bridge, oh. underneath the boiler room. So, where's my bone? No, I get it. Game's not over. He wants me to hide it from him. <sighs> yeah. 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 The emergency exit. Only to be used if the ship keels over. 
Hurry, follow me. Hmm? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Just a way to relax, a little foot bath. <laughs> I feel like a hamster. We're gonna go through a lock soon. We'll be able to relax and catch our breath then. A lock? Perfect. We get out of here as soon as the boat stops by the wall. <laughs> when I say three, jump. One, two, yahoo! <laughs> you didn't say three. He didn't say three. <laughs> I'm war now. <laughs> the captain has decided to give you permission to join us on our little outing. Great. Yeah. 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 Hey, Wonderful. thanks, Miss Betty. Well, hey, here's a good hiding place. <laughs> Greetings, I am Scampering Hare, your guide. The tour starts over here. So here you have a typical teepee, another typical teepee, and finally, a third typical teepee. And here is our typical tribal shop. <laughs> oh, look, a typical longboat. Hmm? <laughs> Avril, out. Jack, out. William, you're out, too. <laughs> oh, look, a typical little totem pole. Oh. No, he's not the one you had to find. It's the key. Who cares? I've got a plan. Whales are awfully big. We're free! Huh? How come you're not in the water with the others? I feel no tender curiosity for whales. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put it in my special hiding place. Well done. Well done. Where shall I drop you off? My penitentiary, please. Yes, vacation time is over. Oh, right. That was a vacation. Daltons, down to the engine room. Stoke that boiler now. Did somebody call this a cruise? <laughs> 